guys, it's Mark Sewell from O'Brien Real Estate Cranberry with another edition of the Property News for 2020, where the real estate information is on the house. It's Are You OK Day this week. It's actually on Thursday, 10th of September. If 2020 has taught us anything, it's the value of having genuine conversations with people who are struggling. There is no doubt people are feeling down through connection with gain strengths ourselves. During COVID, I've made it a mission to make daily calls to my clients, my friends, my colleagues. It's the simple things that matter, like hearing a familiar voice or a different voice to your own that helps you with this great vitamin C connection. Here are two quotes I've been thinking about this week. Remember, sometimes not getting what you want is a wonderful stroke of luck by the Dalai Lama. And only in darkness can you see the stars from Martin Luther King Jr. On to good news this week, we have beaten predictions. The Reserve Bank was predicting a 10% drop in the Australian GDP in the quarter. What in fact has happened is the economy has contracted by 7%. And although that's our worst result since 1945, it's better than most developed countries across the globe, with the average drop for them being 11%, with the worst result for a developed nation being the UK. They experienced a drop of 20.4%, so we're okay. If you've been watching the property market recently, you'll have noticed that there has been really a low level of stock coming to the market. Have a look at the graph below, and it will show you that new listings for the week is down by 70 to 6%. What does that mean for current sellers in the market? It means less competition. We're receiving good inquiry from buyers, and although our selling methods are virtual, we are experiencing in particular properties that can be virtually inspected with assistance from our vendors, vendors and tenants. We're holding virtual consultations and appraisals and providing advice to our clients on the options that are available to them to either sell now or how they can be prepared to sell one day out of lockdown. As it stands, listings are down 24.4% for the year, but the long-term historical listing trend is down around 30 to 35% mark that presents a greater opportunity to sellers due to the lesser selling competition. Reviewing sales across the state for the week, according to CoreLogic, there were 24 auction results this week, whereas last week we had 765, and from a private sale perspective, we had 877 private sales. Our combined average weekly sales for the entire state ranges between 1,400 and 1,600 sales. The sad side of these numbers is simple. Shelter is essential to people and our current restrictions are causing great difficulty for people to secure some shelter. On the other side of the coin is the effect that the limited real estate transaction is having on stamp duty revenue from the Victorian government. Stamp duty accounts for 42% of the state's revenue, so the financials for the Victorian government would be, be affected to the tune of billions of here are the main economic headlines of the week. Council approvals to build new homes has risen by 12% in July. International trade for the June quarter was in surplus by a record 17.7 billion. Retail trade rose 3.2% in July to be up by 12% in the year. According to ANZ job advertisements, the number of Aussie job advertisements lifted to the fourth successive month in August. In August, 60,986 new vehicles were sold, the weakest sales month in Australia for cars in 23 years. Well, that's it for this week. I'm Mark Storr from O'Brien Real Estate. And remember, the information provided here is of a general nature. You should always seek independent, legal, financial, taxation, or any other advice in relation to your unique circumstances. If I can help you with your real estate needs, feel free to give me a buzz anytime, 0413 719 821. I will see you next week. Cheers, guys.